open range 293 RLS as in Robert Langdon is silly here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan and I bet you didn't expect to get a Dan Brown reference with an RV tour. Don't worry, I'll probably never do that again. Um, 8,965 pounds, uh, open range is larger yet not heavier than the other things in their class. Um, or, or you could say Highland Ridge, the names are pretty much interchangeable. And for you YouTubers, anytime you're curious to know things like price, tank capacities, links, etc., I leave that for you in the video description. You're one click away from a lot of important but easy answers. So let's spend time focusing on the nuts and bolts here. Um, open Range, or Highland, whatever, has built their reputation on building a very cool left to center product that is very highly equipped with um, a, a lot of features normally reserved for a much larger and more expensive luxury class fifth wheel in a smaller package. Um, things like the, the very generously sized basement storage here. Um, I like how they they were one of the first to really adopt these uh, magnetic latch baggage doors here with the nice uh, compression latches. Usually you can call them slam latches, but they're technically compressions. And these are wide body. People ask, why is there these odd storage pockets on the outside of open ranges? First of all, I call them the why not pocket because it's there, so why not give you the storage that's there? It's perfect for a little tool chest or something. But secondly, the reason it's there is because this is a wider body coach. This is a 100 inch wide body versus uh, standard 96 inches. Uh, so it's eight foot four instead of eight foot in English. That doesn't sound like a lot, but that extra four inches means you've got uh, a wider living space. You've got more uh, room on the interior. You've got a bathroom and bedroom configuration that literally would not be possible without that extra size. On top of that, on top of a four inch wider body, they have a six inch deeper slide. So this thing is nearly a foot bigger than anything else like it. Yet at 8,965 pounds, generally speaking, at most one or 200 pounds heavier than anything else in any sort of comparable size. That's because they're using better materials in right places. Uh, as the song goes, they've got all the right junk in all the right places, folks. Um, all, you know, like aluminum laminated uh, wall construction, including slide walls, plywood, uh, tongue and groove floor decking and roof decking, um, you know, better materials in better places. Uh, not necessarily cheaper materials. This is not made to be your budget. Uh, fifth wheel. This is made to be like a retirement fifth wheel. Um, they have double the warranty of anybody else. There's a manufacturer out there. I don't, I'm not slinging mud. I'm sharing facts. There is a manufacturer that wants you to believe with their big blue three and the word warranty under down the window that they have a three-year warranty. That is not true. This is uh, this has the best warranty in the business. Period. 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 Uh, this is a two-year bumper hitch that is transferable with. Um, first year roadside assistance. You're gonna see an interesting little uh, thing here too with the King Combo pin box. People look at this and go, what is that thing? Long story short, this is the only fifth wheel with a fixed pin that allows for a 90 degree jackknife turn on a short bed five and a half foot pickup. That is very cool, five and a half foot bed pickup. I should specify five and a half foot pickup would be awful small, like a Power Wheels. Also, it's the only one that lets you switch to a gooseneck coupler without voiding your factory warranty on the chassis. That's something not everybody likes to talk about is chassis warranties. Um, which by the way, that's the only thing that three year quote warranty is good for. And even then it's worth almost nothing. You should really check that out. Being wider body with deeper slides you could, in theory, be a little tipsy on your campsite, which is why we like to build these with the strong arm stabilizer jacks added to them so that you get enhanced campsite stability and you don't have to worry about the trailer rocking and rolling around under you. Now, um, over here, they do something a little different. Everything they do is a little different. The baggage door flops down instead of um, flipping up. And obviously the benefit here is what that lets you do is get to that storage easier rather than having to duck under something. You can just simply uh, let that flop down and, and there you go. You don't have to duck. Now, they separate their storage from their uh, outside hookup center here, which is really cool. So this is an enclosed, insulated, heated um, sort of situation your, your connections are so that your docking station, man, man, smoke coming out of my ears trying to find that word. Enclosed, heated, insulated docking station, weather protected and, uh, you know, certified good or whatever you want to say. Anyway, the point is, this is not just zero to hundred degree rated. There is no, no fifth wheel on the market that matches the insulation package of an open range. And here's how they do it. They have a lot of the same things a few other brands have. They just have more of it in more places. Um, you hear a lot about thermal foil insulation. They, of course, have that in the floor, in the slides, in the roof, in the nose cap. They have it in all the right places. They have an enclosed, 
insulated, forced air heated underbelly with a larger furnace. Um, but, and here's the critical difference, guys. They have a hot air return vent built into their underbelly. So here's what that means. Here's why that's important. I want you to take a water bottle or a pop bottle at home. I want you to crush it down after it's empty, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna have a mess. Then I want you to put it up to your mouth and blow hot air into it. And it's going to expand normally at first, and then it's gonna stop because you have pressurized a capsule. And suddenly the air stops flowing and it stops being heated as well. Open Range has a cyclical air return system. When the furnace force air heats the underbelly, it has a hot air return that heats the bathroom floor. How cool is that? So that your little piggies don't have to get cold at night. But that allows for cyclical air. So when you want to talk four seasons or zero to 100 degree rated or however you want to phrase it, you need to be talking open range. Because at 24 hours, in a zero degree environment with the thermostat set to 70, this maintained a 62 degree underbelly rating. Nobody else has data like that because nobody else does what open range does. You know, there's no such thing in this business as a BSR52 roof, but those are numbers I can prove to you. They are, they are proven. That's something that I like about open range. They, they go the extra step, they do the testing. Here's other little things. You talk about all seasons use. How about heat expansion and contraction? Because RVs go through a ton of it. So instead of plastic screw trim, which is okay, they use aluminum screw trim so that eight, nine, 10 years down the line, that thing is still holding its same corner tension. It hasn't expanded and contracted and gotten brittle in the sun. This is effectively a fifth wheel version of the 272 RLS light trailer or 292 RLS Roamer trailer. And what this gives us here is a, a gorgeous double slide, big, big living room. Nice big wide living room with a sort of outside entertainment center action going on here. Now, because they have a big slide over here, notice that they put a second awning right on the face of the slide out. And both awnings have lighting and both awnings have a nearly imperceptible flex fabric guard. You see that real shiny part of the skin there? That's not the awning, that's the guard. It does the same thing in those big blocky aluminum tube things, except um, it wraps tighter and it helps keep water squeezed out of that thing. Like take a washcloth and squeeze it and wring it out. That's what this does. Outside entertainment center with a built-in TV, which is just awesome. And that is not small. This is, what is this? This has got to be close to a 40 inch Furion. That is fantastic. And Furion is awesome because they have the most highly rugged tested uh, electronics in the RV or marine business today. Basically, take um, uh, any TV from your house, freeze it to zero degrees and then turn it on and it's probably gonna fail because TVs are not made to be used in inclement weather conditions. But that's exactly what RVs go through and that's exactly what this is tested for. Plus, having a little uh, drink fridge out here where you don't have to go traipsing in and out and tracking dirt through your coach, that is sweet right there. I call it dad's medicine cabinet. And when you're done with it, TV folds back out of the way, straps down in place. You can keep this thing locked so the neighbor kids can't take a shine into your TV and take it home with you. And we've got cool aluminum entry steps, which are lighter, easier to see at night. Um, I always forget to talk about this. I'm, I don't mean to change gears, but propane quick connect down here so that you can bring a grill with you if you are so inclined. So you kind of have an outside kitchen. You got your uh, refrigerator, got TV. We got our quick connect. We got everything really that matters. We also have a different kind of entry door. It's friction sprung, so I can throw it and it doesn't hit the side of the trailer. But instead of spending money on a cheap screen door, they build a giant window like a luxury fifth wheel into the door with a big sliding panel and a pull down privacy shade. You still get the best of both worlds here. Whew, let's see, wow, nine minutes. We got a lot more to cover inside, a lot. That's the tricky thing with open ranges. I can't go through them quickly, there's no quick. I do love, they have a very aggressive lighting package in all their models, even with these big windows and lighting in a flood of light. You see how it's just like, it's like drab and it just sparks to life. You hear the hallelujah chorus come through. I could be a little overly dramatic. This is called the Aspen decor. I call it milk chocolate, because tell me that does not look like the foam on top of a just tasty cup of milk chocolate. You gotta have marshmallows though. More marshmallows means better. Everybody knows that. Anyway, the one we have in stock again could be different from this, so don't hesitate to, or, or you know, either click through to our website or God forbid you give us a call and you speak to a living, breathing human being. There's nothing wrong with doing that either, folks. Wall hugging. 
theater recliner, and I stress wall hugging because not every brand gives you wall huggers. And if they don't give you wall huggers, that means that you're going to scar up the walls and you're gonna bust your window treatments. Not if, but when it's gonna happen. Those are also very plush and comfortable, of course. We've got a trifold memory foam high to bed sleeper sofa in the back. They got rid of all air mattresses, no more air beds at open range. There was actually nothing ever wrong with open range's air beds because they use the actual aero bed brand, the expensive good one that doesn't fail. But people heard air bed, oh no! So they got rid of it. They used a different kind of AC ducting system even. First of all, you see it's double ducted, but it's called racetrack ducting. It actually bends and wraps around to give you cyclical airflow for your air conditioner, just like we talked about cyclical airflow in the underbelly. Same concept. Um, across from your theater seat, boom, we have the entertainment center. And it has what my grandfather lovingly referred to as Baptist Medicine Cabinet Storage. I just call it a place for DVDs and stuff, but hey, to each their own. All Furion Electronics in here, just like outside. And we have a uh, 5120 BTU electric space heating fireplace. Um, so, you, you know, it'll keep your little toes warm without having to, to burn up all the propane in your in your tanks. Uh, nice stainless appliance bundle in these late 17s, and that's what we're looking at, is a late 17 series versus an early or transitional 17. So I guess in a sense you could say this is the first true 17 that's out there. Um, you know, the early 17s are literally identical to the 16s. It just says 17 on the title. Um, so we've got lighter countertops. We've got all matching wood tones. They went away from the two-tone stuff. Talked about the stainless. We still have the eight cubic foot fridge. We still have a real true backsplash. Those are actual tile back there. And I also like that they leave you a little appliance shelf back there. And um, there's even little spotlights under that cabinet. I just haven't turned them on because you don't need it. They're still giving you both a skylight and a power vent fan. So you get lots of ambient light here in the kitchen. But if you're cooking up a storm, you have a wall controller over there that activates this fan up here so you can get some nice airflow. Good even when you're not cooking, frankly. It's just nice. Now, you can see that they went with a really aggressive big countertop on here, and if you choose to bring a couple little stools or something, it's perfect for that sort of thing. Um, you see that we've got tons of storage built into the island. The opposite side of the island, here, why, why tell you when I can show you? That's the whole point of a video, right? Opposite side of the island has a built-in wastebasket as well. And notice that all of our cabinetry's nice hidden hinges and all the cabinet styles are screwed together, not stapled or glued. Again, twice the warranty. And, you know, that didn't just happen. They had to build it better to do that. Right when you walk in the door, we got this cool little bureau hutch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all kinds of double shelved overhead storage and I love the level change that they put in there and with great, just great drawer space even right there before we even get into all the drawers in the island um, with good cabinet space down here too. Um, the table, I, I fail to talk about this. It's one of those out of sight, out of mind things. I should talk about this more. This is neat. So you look at this and you say, oh, whatever. I've seen this table before because it's got the extension leaf and four people can sit at it and blah, blah, blah. Yes, but I'm a big guy. So when I sit down and I got my little wife and kid across from me, I like to cheat the table. The table actually can slide back and forth to more comfortably fit whoever's sitting here whenever, and it can lock in a central location for shipping. Moving on, moving on up. Dual entry bathroom. This is part of where that wider body comes into play. Remember, this is one foot bigger, nearly, I'm sorry, 10 inches, I don't wanna be shifty. It's nearly a foot bigger in the living room than basically anything else, anywhere close to this size. You have to go to wide body luxury fifth wheels to get anything else this size. So every room you notice has that really, really impacting one switch lighting package. Um, we've got a larger radius shower that is very tall guy friendly, case in point. I'm a big tall goofball and I can stand in here on my toes and unless I'm wearing a hat, I can't hit the ceiling here. Um, so the way that they achieve this is they, they put the toilet over here in the corner, which all that really means is that you get lots more leg room. And by the way, leg room means we have space to get dressed when you get out of the shower so you don't have to do the naked streak closing all the window shades through the trailer after you get out of the shower. Unless you're at a clothing optional resort and then you frankly don't care. Now, tell me another trailer in this size and category that has that kind of linen storage. And I'm going to tell you, it's another open range. Because, <laughs> holy cow. Now, notice a little fine detail down here. Washer, dryer hookups in this little thing. You can 
put washer dryer in this. Now, you do need to remove those uh, the, the middle style here and those doors to do it, but it is possible in a smaller fifth wheel because there are people who are looking for um, long-term use uh, features in a smaller fifth wheel. And I love that we actually have a sink I can get my hands in, not a little baby bunkhouse sink with a big vanity that lets me keep all my toothpaste and stuff out of the way. Now, the fun doesn't stop here. As we walk into the bedroom, once again, let there be light! And there is. Now, all of these open range lights are 50 amp service. You can add a second centralized AC from the factory. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Um, again, check our website or God forbid, give us a call to verify the equipment on the one we have because we want to make sure we got the right one for you. Um, but again, with their better insulation and their racetrack ducted system, we've found very little need to add a second AC in a coach this size. Usually in the Roamers is where we'll start to do that. You can though. Now, that cool spaceship nose that they have on there, they use all that for the headboard. And rather than really skinny, not fantastic um, hanging wardrobes. They give you an oversized bedroom closet over here, and it, it goes down further than most. A lot of them only go down about three, four feet. So when we slide this open, we also discover, boom, we've got some serious dresser space hidden in this closet too, and it's very easy to get to. By the way, this is new for the late 17s. You can now option in a king bed, a true 70 by 80 king bed in these open range lights. Normally, I would have said, dude, you're drunk. There's no way to get around the bed. But, being wider body, the extra width you gain by this bed is kind of offset by the wider body of the coach. Now, you're doing a little bit of a, the travel trailer shuffle over here, but you see how there's no step up? You can get around this bed, and there's still storage under it. You've got a 70 by 80 true luxury king bed in here. It is awesome. It's awesome. And you still have your CPAP stands on both sides of the bed for folks breathing needs. You choose to add bedroom TV, plow, you throw it right up there and you've got the uh, King Jack antenna system, which gives you more channels, better range, better reception. It's better is kind of what I'm getting at. It's not the dollar cheaper option, but neither is an open range. It, it can most definitely be the dollar better option. I can most certainly find you a less expensive fifth wheel. But you're going to have to make a list for me of how many, not what, but how many of these features you want to give up. Because you can't get all of this stuff in any other brand in one location. So, give us a call, learn more. Hitching, pieces, parts, financing, trades, RV delivery, truck and trailer package deals. We do it all. And I don't care where you live, they're on wheels. Guys, give us a chance to quote this out with, without shipping, I don't care. And you're going to see why we're going to be, uh, I mean, we're going to have over 1,300 RVs sold this year. Are we the biggest place in the world? No. No, but we definitely sell more than our fair share. We come from a real small town. We are a big time dealership. So give us a call. Give my family the opportunity to serve yours and you're going to see why we sell so many. 800-256-5196. We are Halet RV. We're in Coldwater, Michigan. And buddy, I look forward to meeting you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.